With the right type of lighting alone, you can create a certain mood and feel for your game. In this video, I don't think I'm going to get too much into detail about how to make your game look absolutely beautiful, but I'm going to go through certain basic techniques on creating emissive lighting. First, check out my previous video in the playlist on how to get started with the lightweight render pipeline, and let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is get rid of directional lighting here. I'm also going to go into the lighting settings and I'm going to turn off mixed lighting because I think I'm going to use real-time lighting for now. Let me also adjust the camera, maybe somewhere around here. Control Shift F. Looks like it's a little too close. I want to move it back and up a little bit. Okay, that looks all right. Now I'm going to create a lamp. I'm going to create a 3D object cube. Make it zero, zero, zero. If you're an artist, you can create your own lamp, but for now, I'm just going to use a cube. I'll put it somewhere around here. I'll name it lamp. I'll create another cube inside it or under the hierarchy. Make it smaller, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Bring it down a little bit. Okay, and I'll call it light. I'm going to look for the ground material. I'm going to drag it into the lamp. And I'm also going to create a new material in the same folder. Material, call it light. And I'll try green. I'm going to turn this white all the way. And I'm going to turn on emission. And I'm going to turn emissive line to green. Intensity, I'll try 0 0.5 for now. We can always come back and fine tune later. Okay, and drag in the green material. Sometimes the material changes don't get applied immediately. Just try clicking on other materials and wait a second. And now we have a green lamp here. The problem is that this doesn't seem to be radiating any kind of light. We need some kind of a blur around it. So I'm going to go into the main camera. And I'm going to add a post processing layer. I'm also going to change the layer here into post processing. And here as well, post processing. I'm going to create a new empty object here in the hierarchy. Call it post proc volume. Then I'm going to add the volume, make it global. I'm going to add a new profile, just click on new. Okay. I'm going to rename the profile. I'll just call it RB post proc profile. I'm going to go back to the volume here and I'm going to add a bloom effect. Go into it, turn on intensity and threshold. Uh, for now, I'll just use 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. Again, we'll do the fine tuning later. I'm also going to turn on fast mode. I also got to turn the volume layer into post processing. And we see that we now have some post processing effects. Okay. I'm going to set it at 0 0.5 for now. I'm going to go into the green material and change the intensity there. Okay, looks all right. I'm also going to go into the light and create a real-time lighting here. I'll use spotlight and I'm going to get rid of indirect multiplier. I'll make this green as well. Change the rotation to look directly below. Change the range and the angle as well as the intensity. Let me try putting the player under it. So now we see that the player is being affected by the spotlight. If 
I increase the intensity, I think I'm going to try 20. Maybe bring this down a little more here. Okay, looks all right. Let me click play just to check. Okay, looks good. I'm going to go into the main camera and turn off background type from skybox into solid color. Make it dark gray, I guess. Okay. I'm also going to turn on a bit of anti-aliasing. Maybe this. I'm going to go into the environment folder and turn this into a prefab. I'll rename it green. I'm going to make a duplicate. I'm going to try creating a red lamp. Unpack it completely. Move it here. And instead of the green material, I'm going to try the red light. Just got to change the lighting color. And drag it into this. I also got to change the spotlight color, make it red. And let me bring the enemy under the red light and adjust the intensity. Okay, 50 for red. Hmm. I thought I dragged this into the box. Okay, looks good. And again, I'm going to turn this into a prefab. Let me click play and see what it's like. Okay. I think it looks all right. I want this place to be a little darker. And I want to add some more lighting to the ground. I'm going to look at the cube. Let me duplicate this and get rid of the box collider. I'm going to make it smaller, almost like an LED strip. 0 0.01. Zero five here, three five, and I'm gonna hold V and snap it here. I'm gonna duplicate the red light and I'll turn it yellow this time. I'm just trying it out. Yellow, and I'm gonna drag it into the smaller cube. I think the intensity is a little too strong. 1.008. I'm going to make another duplicate and put it on the other side. I'm just doing random stuff. Okay, looks all right. I'm going to make the cube here a little wider. I don't want this colliding edges. 0 0.01 okay looks good let me click play and we have some lighting in the scene i'm gonna move it closer so that the lights are gonna mix in the middle let me bring the camera closer i just want to see it a little better Okay, looks good. You can do all sorts of things with this. Um, for this video, I just play around with some basic shapes, but you can do whatever you want. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it.
I'll see you next time.